Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What uh... Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. What? Hmm. Over here, Booker. This is where we have to go. Why? What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean that this is a doorway? I'll have to show you. I still haven't played the first Bioshock, so I'm all... I know this is Rapture, but I'm still all very confused. Let's get into the atmosphere. Probably gonna regret this. <laughs> Probably. City at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Ridiculous. of doors opening all at once my god they're beautiful oh, thank the you stars, stars. <laughs> Here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought. What is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just, I just couldn't see it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know, I've just had it on me. It's all good. Well, you're gonna open it, or <laughs> what? Um... See, not stars. They're doors. Doors to to everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. Is there like a directory we can look at? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll the way. I'm not too sure where we're going. What are all these lighthouses? Why are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. All different. All similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. And sometimes, something's different. Yet the same. Constants and variables. Yes. Exactly. Whoa, what? We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. And it always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There's so many choices. And they all lead us to the same place. Where it started. Very no great. one tells me where to go. Booker. You've already been. For it to build itself. So shiny. What? Well, that's trippy. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> 
takes the cake and straight. What if I just go into water? See you later. Oh. I'm going back to Rapture. Wait a minute. I know this place. I was here. It must have been 20 years ago, right, right after Wounded Knee. I was looking for... A, 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 a... Come on now, time's a waste. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want to. But you already did, didn't you? Do I have a choice, sir? <laughs> you have to go take the creepy man's hand. Are you so... ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? No. Do you hate your wickedness? Hell no. Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave no. behind all you were before, no. and be born again <laughs> in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, Stop it. What Stop. are you doing to it? Get off me! Get off! Son! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. Hey, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. Uh, she knows this house. I'm assuming she Did got some something? sort of, like... Oh, maybe the lady wrote it. Or when she got like the super flash, she's like, oh, I see everything. And what of my debts? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes, the girl for the debt. He's most unamused. What? Wait, wait, no, this is wrong. What is this? It was no. That is a it was terrifying no baby. baby. Mm. I, I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Join us, Booker. Oh God, you're terrifying. That's not a baby. That's like a five-year-old. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see the all the doors <laughs> and what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Her necklace is moving. I never leave her neck. <laughs> okay. I don't have the baby anymore. What Just... choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. Wait a minute. Bring us creepy. the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, you're bleeding. Oh. I remember. What I remember, I... Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with She's our lives. We don't need... <laughs> you mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. Hey! Hey, the deal is off, you hear me? The deal is off! Give her back! Give her back! Uh-oh. Oh. Oh god. It's fine, hurry! 
fine. Are you mad? Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it down! Uh, Shut down the uh, machine! Uh, now do it! Give me back my daughter! No! this room with your regret for almost 20 years until one day a man came to you and offered you a chance at redemption a chance for us to be together Sort of penance. Hmm, sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. Hmm. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. I don't know. Wipe away the debt. Bring us the girl. Wipe away the debt. Bring us, bring us the girl. He's starting to put his story together. Wipe away the You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, the brain adapts. I should know. Bring us I've lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I sold you. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this. Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother this son of a bitch in his crib. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. I got him again. I'm just gonna go around in circles getting out of this boat. So why would he give his daughter away? What the... What the fuck is Comstock gonna do that's so special that he's like, Sure, take her! Whatever! I don't know, let's see. Oh, by the way, that's the spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. That was a pretty... Booker. Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Look at your wit. Are you ready to be born this? again? Why are, are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're that not... has gone before? Wipe the You're sleep not... clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away. He's not animating oceans. anymore. You didn't. You took the baptism. You, you were born again as a different man. Oh, I see. You're it all, all has to end. You have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Just smother him in the crab. Smother. 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 Ah! Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name should you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. What? 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 So in one world he chose to be baptized and in another one he chose not to be. So well, the one he I chose to be baptized, he was like the evil Comstock. 
And then in the other world, when you didn't choose it, you ended up being... Yeah, no, away. I follow that. Yeah. That doesn't do anything for my confusion. Okay. <laughs> but I'm not sure why he gave the daughter up, though. I, that's not really explained very much. Unless I missed it somewhere what's, there. What's the debt? Well, he... Well, the debt... And the, um, oh, yeah, he, um... At Wounded Knee, he, like, massacred a bunch of people. So he, like, killed a bunch of natives. So he kills them, them and then someone's like, in order to fix that, give us your baby. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So he's like, hey, if you want to redeem yourself, get redemption, then you need to give us your daughter or whatever, and we'll set everything right. In what fashion? I don't know. That's, that's just, like, what the deal was, I suppose. I have no idea how it sets anything right. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an expansion that I've purchased for this, yep. so... Uh, Actually, I think some of it is more explained in that. Oh, good! Good. But we'll see. Because I, I think Elizabeth is... I actually have no idea. I've just seen screenshots from it. It looks like Elizabeth is either the main character in that, like you play as her, or you, have, you play as someone else. I'm not sure. So... I don't know if you theoretically killed all versions of him or not. Because there was one still left over in the end, one Elizabeth, so. I don't think. Because they killed. Well, I guess the idea is he did it in one world and he didn't in another, so if you just kill him then. Yeah, then you stop all those futures from happening no matter but what. But was she already born when he did that? No. So, my, my theory after? is there's one universe where he still exists, because um, in order for all that to have happened, there needs to be at least one Elizabeth left in the end, yeah. right? So, there's one universe, I think, that... But is that supposed to be before or after she was born, when they killed him? Was she born before or after she killed him? <laughs> I don't know. It, as if it's, if it's before, then she doesn't exist. But then she has to exist in order to kill him. Yeah, I know. That's why there must be one universe where everything happened differently. Because there's still one Elizabeth. Or exactly the same. Yeah. But then, where would that? We'll have to, we'll have to play Burial at Sea and find out. Well, I'm basically going to have to play this entire game again, because we played it with so long in between yeah. that every time we start, I have no idea what's going on. And that's your fault. That's entirely your fault, because I have no life. Well, even beyond that, like, I... Well, we didn't play for a really long time because we didn't want to play on the computer screen. And, we ended, and then we ended up playing another horror game, too. We, like, played the Outlast DLC, so we took a pause oh, yeah. for that as well. So some of that was because we took a pause. <laughs> Sounded like the Simpsons theme there for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to play the whole thing again. Troy Baker! Yay! Yay! actors now. Mm -hmm. They're just actors. Well, just, just, just But they're still actors, whether yeah. or not you're just using your voice. Well, you're there's, still that was actor. like one of the things that happened with Thief is like, the, for Thief 4, they asked the guy who originally did it, but he didn't want to do the motion capture stuff. He said no. He said, mm -hmm. you can have my voice, but you can't have my face, basically. He, he, he wasn't he wasn't cool with the motion capture stuff, so they just went with a completely different person, and so that pissed does, a lot of fans off. It just said girls just want to have fun. Tainted love. 
What? This it might have been playing on the um the uh phonographs or something sometimes. I might not be crazy when I said I heard girls just wanna have fun. I I think you did say that too. That I've got a YouTube, because I Yeah. What probably happened is it is playing but somewhere completely different and yeah. I was just crazy. But we'll find out as soon as the Saddle the Pony I'm I'm confused and vaguely sad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much I don't understand why I'm sad, but I'm sad. I guess cause he died, but but she said she's like the only way to undo it or whatever is to die there. That Except sounds that like some with a million million universes. That's just not. Yeah. That's either. Wait. I mean, I guess there are universes where he never existed at all. If there are a million million universes. Yeah. But. But then they were saying like, there's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a. <laughs> yeah. So. So... This is like, it, you know what this reminds me of? This is the butterfly effect. Have you ever seen yeah. that movie? Yeah. That movie made me so sad. That movie was like a roller coaster of emotion. Like, it was just like a stab to the heart every single time. You're just like... Yeah, I didn't like it at the, at, the at the very end, I, I actually liked the ending and how it ended, but I was still sad for it. I forget how it ended. Uh... <laughs> Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. Okay. Spoilers if anybody hasn't seen it. <laughs> Okay, so basically it was like that movie where like he had the yeah, blackouts, no, I, right? And yeah. he kept keep going back and Yeah, I remember, right? yeah. So I what he did remember. was, since no matter how many times and whatever point he went back to try to fix things, things got either more screwed up or just yeah. got screwed up for him or his yeah. friend or whatever. So he figured out that the only way to stop any of that from ever happening is to make sure that she left town instead of stayed. And so that means he would have had to, like, break off their friendship slash relationship and pretend like they've never really even met. So the first time he met her, he told her he was going to, like, kill all their parents or something. Oh. Like, like, he freaked her out completely, so she uh, left. Okay. And so she ended up growing up to be this, like, happy person, you know, without yeah. any trouble. And he grew up separately and happy and stuff like that, and yeah. that's it. But they didn't get to be together. Yeah. Which doesn't make me all that sad, because other fish. Yeah. But, but at the end of the movie, it is like this adult version of him all happy, and then they kind of like pass each other in the street, and they kind of look at each other, like, I don't know you. And then it just leaves off that, or whatever. Yeah. They just give each other the look. And yeah, that's no, it. I, I didn't care much about the entire movie except for the bug. Yeah, I remember that. That was horrible. I remember the mailbox exploding, and I remember yeah, that guy too. getting stabbed in the head with like a shirt of metal. And I remember him like in a wheelchair yeah, with the pins because of the mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember. That's like, I oh, and, the, and the, the, the like pedophile guy in their basement. He was like making child porn. Oh, I don't remember that. I just remember the fucking that. Which makes me hate that movie, even though it's completely irrational. But... Anyway, so yeah, I'm vaguely sad because I like Booker, although he is kind of an asshole. He turns into lots so... of an asshole. Yeah, and he let but, he let he let them do it because he wanted. In the end, he wanted her to be like yeah. okay, right? So he's like, yeah, I'll die. Okay. Yeah, but still. Um. So the thing that spoiled it for me is I was watching this panel, and I didn't realize that they were gonna bring up Bioshock Infinite, or, and it kind of happened all of a sudden. And she's um, and it was the girl uh, from The Last of Us who was like, I got a present for you. Um, oh, some person, because they were doing a Q&A, and the guy's like, so my wife bought me The Last of Us for Father's Day. <laughs> and Drew Baker was like, oh, God. <laughs> and then he's like, and her middle name is Sarah. And he was like, oh, jeez. <laughs> um, and then she, I can never remember her name, and I feel so bad about it, because she's awesome. But yeah. anyway, um, it's like, I got a present for you, and it's a mug, and on one side it says world's best dad, and on the other it says world's worst dad. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, no, oh, because I knew exactly, because I knew it was, because they just brought up Bioshock Infinite. I was like, oh, all these this months is, I went. Is that one line, you know? 
random thing to put at the end of the game. <laughs> and I don't think that's supposed to say load. Wait, what was that? We're supposed to say load. We'll get the actual one else. Um, Can we run it? There are this and there are this. There are loved ones in the glory who's doing his voice. Start to play the song and maybe then um, 
you guys kind of find the tempo together a little bit. Um, I want it to feel you guys are so excellent and professional. Yeah, I'm, no, it won't be like that. I, I, I want to make it sound like it's not like, you know, sure. John Crow and, and uh, right. Eric Clapton in this session. <laughs> um, so, he gets you know, Eric Clapton, I get Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> But I don't think she can do it. Pretty spares and seal. Okay. Already. Anna. Oh, there's one. Unless it starts over again. Anna? Let's see. That's probably what's going on. Anna? Is that you? Oh. It's not going to tell us. Anna, is that you? What exactly does it mean? Like, she's sitting there going, bye, bye, bye. Like, maybe uh, that is a version of him that survived. Oh, that's why he's confused. It's like the spinning top. It's <laughs> like, take it however you want. You decide. It's the night of the dream. Whoa. I like the spinning hook loading thing. <laughs> you just left to move. To move. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, good thing you told us that. Ah. <sighs> 